Hello friends, Maki Master here. Thank you so much for watching Arts Therapy for Me, and welcome to my session. Please give me a thumbs up and a subscribe so I can send you a lifetime of good vibes. So right now I'm putting the, I'm doing Joe Rogan again. This is the second go at Joe. Uh, the first one was one of my first portraits, so it uh, it was okay, you know, it, it, it resembled him, but I wanted to give him another go. I'm a big fan of Joe. Probably the best interviewer, uh, very innovative uh, podcaster. Um, I like him because he's in the middle. He asks a lot of questions and he plays both sides of the spectrum well. You know, he's very fair. So here I'm using Hamachi for skin and this Hamachi is so fresh, it looks like skin. <laughs> so it's a little, you know, a little creepy at first, but it all blends in, looks good. You know, it uh, comes together well. And I think this version of Joe is a bit better. So I'm molding a lot here. Uh, lots of molding goes into this. Um, Machi's real thick and very buttery. So, you know, I got his cheekbones, his jaw. He's got that brick house jaw. You know, uh, he's a martial artist. Uh, so he's... It's has nose broken quite a few times, it, it seems. Uh, so I had to get that right. So molding his lips here using Hamachi belly. I putting uh, I'm using taco, which is an octopus for his eyes. It's very moldable. It's uh, very white and got a very bright color. So sometimes it could be too white. So I have to kind of dull it out a little bit. So I'm using squid ink to just go uh, do the pupil and now some of the inside work of the eye. I'm just working it around. Um, some more work, some more lime work. And, you know, it looks a little dull right now because like I said, the fish is very slight, <laughs> very skin tone color. And right now I'm working the bags under his eyes, the heavy bags. Sorry, Joe, we all have them as we age. So, you know, it, it's, I have to brighten it up a bit, and I, I get to that. But right now I'm working on his, his lip, lower lip, his nose, uh, his crease right here. His lips, I'm using ube sauce uh, and a little char siu, which is Chinese barbecue. Ube sauce is a purple yam. Uh, I make it, I boil it down, and reduce it into this, like, uh, sauce, more or less. And it's very sweet, very delicious using a lot of Japanese cooking. So I'm using eel sauce for the shade. Eel sauce is very sweet. I'm just working them, doing the best I can, trying to do his uh, stubble. I just use uh, squid ink with that, I just little lines, and I add a little seaweed and stuff it into his skin. Doing the shade, trying to get him as realistic as possible, which I lacked in the last portrait. I lacked a lot of realism kind of cartoony. Right now I'm doing seaweed for his eyebrows. And I have a little squid ink and the eel sauce around his eyes, working the lines with that. So trying to darken it, add some shadow. Doing some mouth work. I mean, I remember Joe back in his Fear Factor days. <laughs> you know, he, uh, he was always a great entertainer, knows how to talk to people. Of course, UFC. You know, he's a big martial art fan, martial artist. He definitely broke the landscape of podcasting, that's for sure. He's an he's a innovator. The rice grain in the eye to add that reflection. You know, using uh, Thai, which is white fish, on his nose to add that reflective look. Of course, his nose has been busted up pretty good. So I add a little reflection on there, and I'm using it on his on his head too to add that little light glare on his on his uh, dome there. And I add it under his eyes as well. It kind of gives it a, it brings him to life a little more. It adds just that I don't know that realistic like glare. Right now I'm using nori, which is seaweed. It's uh, used for rolls, all rolls and sushi, and uh, for a shirt. Very simple, you know, he always wears t-shirts. So a black t-shirt, make him look cool. Fixing up the rice a little bit. You know, getting ready for the final shot. Just cleaning him up. Here he is. 
sushi style, Mr. Joe Rogan. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, you'd be doing me a big favor if you'd smash that subscribe button and lighting up that notification bell so you don't miss a beat. Thanks again. Maki Master, out.